That's a heartbreaker. Electrodynamics. All right, so floor zero, all for one electro, course charge. That's electro. All right, let's go. I probably could have won that if I did like Bernie Potts sooner or something. I definitely made an oopsie somewhere. An oopsie poopsie. I made an oopsie, poopsie, loopsie, loopsie. It's gotta do, it's gotta do. Okay. Cool headed. Hey, there was no misplays, okay? And that was a win in my book. Now, cool headed. Every time I think of cool headed, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Save the rest of my moolah. Save the moolah. All right, this is gonna be big. Are you guys ready for this? Do we want to reboot? Yes or no? I mean, it's getting offered. I might get an event that gets rid of it. Yeah, Equilibrium is very good. A second zap, yes or no? Okay. Regret, okay. Equilibrium would've been nice. A second zap, I'm a little unsure about, to be honest. I can't say I'm really proud of that one. I'll take one damage. What's it to me? Mmm, well now that's a juicy card. That's a juicy oopsie poopsie. What's it called though? My favorite didn't bring my wings back. What do you mean? Math time. 12 plus 6 is not enough. But this might be. Got him. Give me front loaded. How is Knob gonna be killed? You just found it, buddy. Bam. Knob killer. Got the knob killer. Okay. Let's do this. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't have to play Zap. I took extra damage. Oh my god, ball let. Are you. Bottle lightning seek. Oh well, this is a high roll. Ah, it's food delivery. Now, that was a new word for me. Learn something every day. That sucks, man. You should call them and say, because of the pain in the most. Decent of, decent of ways that you would like some kind of compensation. But be subtle about it. You know? Capacitor versus boot sequence. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Hmm. God, I need a lot of upgrades. So if I upgrade like the defrag, the zaps, the seek, then the dicks really good. I like this feather. I really do like that. This guy's hurting. I don't have blocks, so I traded in my block. I traded in my block for other things. 
Hmm. So we're gonna take some damage right about now. And we'll stabilize the deck after. I like the weaken. Mm, but the deck's not getting a block, so this is really, really, really. How do I say this? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je ne sais pas. You know me, français. This is really scary. This is really scary. Ah, oui. Yes. Oh my god, I need more of those. Oui, oui, c'est le petit mort. Wait, how do you say le, le petit mort? Is it, do you say the pronounce the T there? Le, le petit mort? Give me healing. Waffle. Mm. Tori is a rip. Is le petit mort? Alright, Holler is pretty good because we have Streamline. Uh, Centennial Puzzle is pretty good. La petit mort. Loop, because we have defrag, so loop is actually pretty good. If you put loop and frost, you're just game over. This <laughs> isn't la petit mort. No, got... Man, is that what's going on here? Did I just get baited? I want to remove as well. What would you say is the max desk you want to be around? Well, when I go to Office Depot, I'm looking for really big desks. Like... Like, I'm very specific about the decks, the decks, the deck desks? Man, now you're confusing me, Jesus Christ. Like, a, maybe like a, a five foot desk is, is perfect for me. Alright. Are we crazy enough? Hear me out, hear me out. There is an elite. Right to my left. We're not doing it. I'm just kidding. We're not doing it. Now, I know that you don't pronounce the end of the word consonants. Yes, but for some reason, Mort's, I've never seen that word. La petite Mort. Machine learning is too slower now. I can't really afford to take it. All right, we gotta survive this. Now, what are the odds that we lose a hallway fight more often than we let down to the elite? Because think about this, we fought Gremlin up. So it's triple sentry, or it's Lagavulin. Now, Lagavulin, we have time to set up, right? So we have Capacitor, Defrag, 50% chance we just win that fight. Capacitor, Defrag, get a little uh, cool-headed. Maybe even get the loop on, uh, frost on loop. We take no damage in that fight. Now, if it's the triple sentry, we have Electrodynamics right away. Plus, we have Essence of Darkness. That's a big, stompy card. I only have three life. Now, there's still a world with Seek, Turn 1, Electrodynamics. If we get Defrag in the mix, maybe we can just outright beat the Triple Sentry. Put my money where my mouth is, said the young Padawan. Put your money where your mouth is. I'll try. Give me defrag or give me death. Excuse me, sir. I believe you're high rolling. Stop it right now. Am I, am I crazy or I have guarantee lethal? Wow. Wow. Now, now that we're doing that 3 HP out of the way, 
Um, and what's next? More frost because capacitor defrag is just that damn good. It's just that damn good. And you got a loop in the mix. Why would I ever rest when I got Eternal Feather? You put loop in the mix. Okay, Seek Up is really good. But loop is really good too. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is this is this is it. Uh, game over. Get Electro out of the deck or get loop out of the deck. Let's get Electro out of the deck. No, let's get Loop out of the deck. Capacitor out of the deck? Nah, I need to do damage at the moment. I can get a Center's Bane out of the deck. Or I could go for the Go for the Eyes, get more damage. I'm not. Is that three damage gonna be worth it? I'm gonna trust my. But I'm not going to do the math. Ah, I should do the math. Excuse me, sir. You really need to stop high rolling. It's getting out of control. There's children watching the stream. They're going to grow up thinking they can win the lottery. It's not right. <laughs> Fight's over. This is how it looks when a fight's over. Imagine not doing streamline first. Imagine, guys. What's up, Captain P Peanut? Should I just go for the big, big ball play? Absolutely. Absolutely. Kill him with fire. I'm not fucking around today, I guess. All right, Thunder Strike though. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Okay, look. When lightning is really hot, so when lightning strikes you, it damn well feels like fire. Maybe it's probably the best. You can no longer smith, you can no longer obtain potions. Now that's a big doozy. Like, Sosie's probably the best, but then you have Potion Belt, it makes you reconsider. But, we do have some good potions already. What world we're taking Slaver's Caller? Alright, if, if I take Fusion Hammer, like, I want to upgrade the loop and stuff. Like, this deck, if I just upgrade the cards that I have, the deck's out of control. Creative AI is like, if I feel like I need the extra scaling in a fight, or if I have modified hands, I mean, it's pretty good, but Rainbow is really proactive. I have Defrag, so playing Rainbow just gives me a lot of effective stuff. Whenever you're in a boss or lead fight, you gain energy at the start of your turn. Now, in hallway fights, which is really the important part of Act 2, elites, yeah, sure, but the hallway fights are what kick your ass. Um, we have things like Electrodynamics and Defrag with Seek, so we're kind of doing really good things already in the hallway fights and then the elites hey we're gonna go for each one of them like so creative creative ai is not really a very good card in hallway fights but it gives you that little extra push for boss and elite fights but i already feel confident in elite fights so i'm going for the hallway fights uh for Sneko, for Sneko, it would be amazing here yeah so, um, 
think fusion. Mm, yeah, the beta branch has a lot of changes. Uh, I, I really don't want to do fusion hammer. I wonder if I do Sneko guys. I'm mean, sorry, uh, Sozu, and I just keep the potions that I have and feel bad about potion belt. Not the end of the world, right? This is a tough choice. If I just upgrade the cards that I have, like the loop, capacitor, maybe some of these cool headers or zaps, the deck is operating so well as it is. I can't take Fusion Hammer. I sort of want to take Sozu, because we have Turn Feather for Sustain, and I already have decent potions. I can just let go of the potions. Mmm. Don't tell anybody that I took Soji with Potion Bell. Don't tell anybody, okay? You didn't see me do it. Wasn't me. Boom, 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 boom. Two elites, I guess, or Sparkle early. Really bad path. Abysmal path. This is all the paths are terrible here. Jesus. Jesus. I'm not gonna waste fire pot. Ah, uh, I can't get this potions. This, this kind of feels bad, man. Compile is pretty good here. Hmm. I got this again. A consume would be good here because I already have capacitor. Creative AI. Okay, creative AI. Yay or nay? Slow for hallway fights. I don't see like I need it, but this is right here. Let's not forget. Not forget. Can't forget that, right? Cannot forget that. Easy. It's like the L. It's like a knight. Knights on A1. Okay, easy. I feel like creative eye is not really the play. Knight on A1, you see? It's attacking the uh, B3 square. Oh, I'm talking shit. All right, let's see if we get normality. Oh, okay, got consume. I'll take consume. All right, we got consume. Ah, fuck it. Make it fun. I know you're thinking winning's fun, Jeremy, but yeah, that's tr that is true. That's true. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. We're taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. No bueno. Okay, hologram versus Sunder. Ooh, okay, we got to actually start buckling up here because we're taking too much damage because of stupid cars like this. Okay, 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 okay. Recursion. I think Hologram's probably the play. Sunder's pretty good though. Nope. The deck's close to a win already. I just need to like stop fucking around.
Am I really gonna get rid of my frosts? If I get rainbow, it's game over. The deck's weird because it like it wants to do two things. Yeah, I like chess. I got to was up because of this. Uh, another cool headed. We'll come. We'll come back for another day. That's for a rainy day. Okay. Now. No, no, no. What's a good upgrade here? Book of Stabbing is the big, the big one, right? Book of Stabbing is the big boy. What's that Book of Stabbing? We're just talking about you. I was just talking about you. I want loop and I want defrag ASAP. Should be game over. Should be game over. Well, fuck. Ah, fuck. I can take his damage, right? I don't really want to like dual cast the frost. I want to keep it on loop, but maybe we do. Maybe we do keep dark on loop. Imagine thinking Devin thinks he's a better AC. I mean, I can't tell. We haven't played, but every time we play with him, we we seem to get wins. So I don't know. He might be better. I'll rest after this. Is it worth doing capacitor here? Because I don't want to drop back into it. What if I just do the 10 damage right now? 10, 20, 30 of 30 damage. Streamlines lethal. I'm going to lethal next turn. Next turn is going to be okay, 15 now, 15, 30. Plus 10, 45. It, lethal both ways. I'll rest. Barrage is pretty good. I think I made the deck kind of bad, though. I needed to, like, rectify how bad I made the deck. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, add a card. Okay, what were I looking for? If I add a card. I already have Defrag Plus. There's a Glacier. More seeks. Creative Eye Plus? Oh, no way. Heat sinks? Reinforced body heat sinks. The deck's pretty slow. Heat sinks just makes the stack even slower. Reinforced body is just a good block. I think I need a good block in my life. Yeah, of course, was another same slow problem, right? So, like, the problem is our, our deck, once the deck gets the powers out, we're, we're, we're good. We don't, we're not worried. This is, so after the powers are out, yeah, force is a good block. But I'm worried about pre that. So like in a pinch, I think green force body is probably the best play. Heatsink's plus though. I just feels like 
creative AI, we have so many powers. Too many powers. I kind of want to get frosts. Oh, fuck it. Hmm. Consume now. I'm a defect knock slow. Uh, uh, C cups it, cups it out. I don't want to take damage here. Kind of want to use the weaken. It feels, it feels bad though, right? So what's the best play to mitigate damage? Um, the best play is... I guess the weekend helps the most, right? We haven't seen one Finan just, just yet. So with Matryoshka, one Finan is probably in the cards. I think weekend is the best here. I want to just save life, that's the thing. Like, Streamline is pretty good, but I'm not worried about this fight. Once I get my powers out. So I'm gonna save life. Spoilers in title? Where are the spoilers in title? Oh, only wins ever misplays? Good question. Get loopy loop. Hmm. Totally lightning hits him and then just reinforce his body here. Or. Or. Who had it technically is better? Ouch. Fuck. Big yikes. Huge yikes. If I get vulnerable right now, this is actually really bad. I'm playing this like a donkey, actually. I'm playing this like a donkey. That can power white noise. The deck needs more frost. That is not cool headed. It needs glacier. Stack. Compile number two. Wait, right, no, who's the boss again? Enough stack is to play here. I mean, it's, I just need a decent block. Mm -mm. No, I don't want. I don't want to blow through deck here. My deck is kind of fat though. So stack's pretty good on average. Things like show and defrag are the big, the biggest thing. Like if I get show or defrag, then I don't want the stack. I do want to remove three strikes. Hmm, it's a lot of nonsense cards here.
you could seek stack every first turn that would be the most optimal worst play every single turn every single turn i could do the worst play every turn every fight ah, it is tempting I wish I had like something else to seek on these turns. I should have probably played streamline. Membership card is gonna be huge. So once the membership card comes, once I get a shop, like I think we'll be fine. We just gotta serve. Oof, it's gonna hurt. What's up, David? Okay. Give me frost or give me death. Give me a shop, give me a shop, give me a shop. It will break mall bank, but that's fine. Uh, is it fine though? Okay. So blind is a good way to start mitigating some of these damage I'm taking. Blind is pretty, like I can break mall bank right now and just take the blind card remove. The relics are really shit, but I guess blind card remove is the best, yeah? I feel like I should rest again. Okay, let's say I, let's say I don't rest. Let's say I'm confident in the fact that I can survive the first couple turns, and then once I get my frost and loop and stuff like that with creative ad, like I don't lose this fight, all right? So if that's the case, then... Hologram number two upgrade in. We can make Creative Eye more accessible. We can make Consume a little bit more focused so that we actually have a meaningful loop frost thing going on. Welcome back, Hazuchia. We're fine with 35 life. Yeah, yeah, I feel confident with this. Why am I doubting myself? Nah, I think we're fine. Get rid of his artifacts now. What are we seeking? If we seek out electrodynamics right away, we can kill the little minions much easier. Dad how you doing, buddy? So what if we just do like consume with an electro and keep defrag for hologram? Keep deck for hologram the electro just to get the bad boy the little bad boys taken care of? Or we can try getting our loop out and go for frost shenanigans ASAP. If we get loop out, that's pretty good as well. I still think Electra's probably better. Electra just to manage minions. So we, we can keep we can do consume defrag and loop. Or we can do electro consume and then keep defrag for hologram and bring out the curse. We can also just put consume it and get loop out now and do consume with hologram. It's really good that I get the weekend now. Let's shoot rainbow right away. I have another hologram in the deck. I don't. I don't know if I really want to consume like. 
Do I really want to consume? I want to keep lighting there to kill these guys next turn, so I think I want to do boot sequence here just to block. Or try to get double weaken out and take some damage. If I take some damage, getting closer to the weaken is not that important. I think we just focus on this. Save life where we can. Now, now that the minis are dead, I don't have to worry about lightning on there. And we got this. That should be GG. I want to look for a capacitor. That helps. GG. Game over. I guess I could dual cast. Aldoxius. Aldoxius. Thanks for the follow, buddy. And Sandro uh, Marino. I think we just pass and we take some damage here. Or we could dual cast and prevent damage. Sigamon, thanks for the follow, buddy. It's a big that's a big dark orb. Wait, I was trying to go for lethal, but not really. Let me see something. We're never dead here, right? Because we could always do like cool, cool. If I don't have guaranteed lethal, um, so one forty, one sixty, one eighty. 185. So we focus on blocking here. 14. 14 plus 16 is 30. So if we just do cool headed, cool headed, and dual cast, we don't die. And there's no worries. It's probably the safest thing. And going for lethal right now. Or that works. So what we can do is just dump the damage now, and we'll take. I can try to preserve life for Act 3 or just be aggressive with damage. I don't know, is it worth trying to save life for Act 3 or just go full out right now? What if we draw into stack right now? Uh, uh stack. This is fine. Yeah, I'm barely saving life. Okay, Core Surge is probably the best here. We still have a lot of gold for a big membership card, so that's fine. Uh, Core Surge is probably the best here. The deck's getting huge. The deck's already huge, but... Upon pickup, transform all strikes and defense. So if I get rid of all my strikes and defense with Frozen Egg, we might get more powers for more setup to, run, to lose the game immediately. I can't do that. Can no longer rest. Ah, uh, okay, so we have five. Think about it this way. We have Eternal Feather, so we heal from that, right? If we have five energy. With five energy, I don't think I'll take as much damage. So I think we take the Coffee Dripper. Because five energy means we're taking less damage, right? And granted, we don't have that much card draw. Um. And, I mean, we're already taking a lot of damage. Like, sometimes we take some damage, right? But, 
I guess Frozen Core is pretty damn good. Like, Frozen Core just gives me the frost, so I... Since, since here, here's my philosophy. My deck takes a while to set up, right? Because I want to get my powers out and I want frost at the same time. So if you take frozen core, you can get your powers out and get frost for free. It saves half the setup time. That's the whole purpose. So what you do is you get loop out, you do a defrag, you already have frost on loop immediately. Now, five energy creative AI, sure. Creative AI is not really caring about in hallway fights. Boss fights, sure, that's probably fine. Five energy, you get better reinforced bodies, play more cards, probably block for, for more. But I think Frozen Core immediately cuts out some of the setup time. And when I remove my strikes, the deck's already like rolling quickly. I don't know. I like the Frozen Core. Um, I think I made a good enough. I, I've convinced myself. I was trying to convince you guys, I'm actually convincing myself. All right, we go for the shop, and let's go for Sparkle. Little Miss Sparkle. And look at this, we already have it on loop. Okay, except for the zap. Okay, the zap makes it awkward. But aside from the zap, it's, it's cool. All right. Let's forget the zap thing, and then we're fine. But now the Kuwait seems a little bit worse. I mean, I guess Kuwait still evokes. Not the end of the world. Smacked. More stacks. Okay, the deck is pretty big, so stack is pretty... Ah, uh, but it's so awkward. Like, If I take stack, I have too many cards that are just, like, blocking. I don't like it. I don't like it. But the deck is 33 cards with this stack, number two. Who's the boss? Hmm. Nah, Beamstall is definitely not the play here. Nah, keep the deck small. I should have taken that singing bolt, by the way. Whoa. Okay, I don't think a passage is pretty good. Skim is... Hmm. More paint's pretty good, because a lot of... I leaned a lot of upgrades, so war paint is just pretty good here. I also like Gremlin Horn. It just takes up all my gold. Like, I like War Paint, Capacitor, and Remove. War Paint, Capacitor, Remove. But I can't do the Remove. I don't think I have the gold for it. And Skim is kind of good to get things rolling. So Gremlin Horn is really good because I... For Act 3, there's so many important fights. And Repto... Imagine Reptomancer, right? So Reptomancer is like one of the biggest threats. I know we have Electrodynamic, so that's kind of taken care of. So I guess I don't have to worry about it, but... You know, you know War Paint's... I think War Paint is actually the play. Now the question is, do we do skim war paint remove? Probably. And now the deck's really good. Uh, should I have to lose a card? I actually don't want to lose some power driver. I'm, I'm a big fan of it, but I think reinforced body is better to have. We can always get another. We can get another one. It's fine. Upgrade our card. Okay, we. I am rich now. Let me, let me point to the membership card that I have, right? If I point to the membership card, then you're thinking, my god, that's 1,800 gold. But then I tell you this. Why, why isn't Abacus? I'm not sure. Every time you shuffle your deck, you gain six block. Now, the problem is, I, I, two normalities is really bad for me. I don't have a shop nearby, and I can't really remove, so I can't take it. So we just get the rare relic. Upgrade a card that's going to longer heal. Absolutely not. Yeah, I know I can't spend it. I was just trying to get you guys enticed. I know, I know. Yeah, but I don't have a shop. That's the thing. No point in taking damage here. If I get calipers, guys, I'm calling it now. It's not pre-recorded. I promise it's not pre-recorded. But if I, I think I'm, I'm feeling calipers. Are you guys feeling the same thing? 
I'm really feeling calipers right now. It's not pre-recorded, but calipers is about to pop up. Sometimes it's just fun to do this. Like sometimes it's just really fun. Okay, I got a shovel. Got chill. Chill's amazing. Yeah, the shovel, you know, on, okay, calipers here. Like I was talking about calipers. It's actually this fight that we're getting it. Look, look. It's like. I feel it. That's this is an amazing stack. Unbelievable. I gotta be careful in this fight, by the way. I've gotta be careful. Okay. What's the best way to what's the best thing I can do here? This is probably worth a fire potion, right? This is probably worth a fire potion. exactly what I wanted so we got a full heal pretty much uh, do I dig or do I upgrade I get I think if you upgrade if we upgrade the dual cast we are cool headed dual cast capacitor capacitor is a good upgrade skim blind is a really good upgrade I could dig for calipers but no that's a bait I think we upgrade zap I mean we upgrade blind it's just too good of an upgrade No, 100% blind is the better thing, guys. Don't tell me to dig. I, I, guys, dig. No, no, no. Don't do this. I upgrade blind and then we dig everything, okay? That's what we do. We're not diggy. I'm not diggy. I'll dig after this. Creative Eyes is really good for this fight. Who had it is a really good upgrade. Not wrong. I could save this, but why? Why would I save it? Creative eye. So, what's better than creative eye number one? Two of them? I should have played Consume there. We're gonna get biased right now, watch. One, two, three, Echo form. That's game over. Hello world's a problem though. That's becoming a big problem. I actually didn't mean to uh, 
Mm, I actually didn't mean to do double consume. I, I forgot I had to go farm. That's a problem. I'm healing because of the feather, yeah? How much are we healing? We're healing 30 when we enter the campfire. So I can take a hit here because we're healing 30. I could take a hit here. Double buffer. Should I just do bias anyways? Oh, for every five cards. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm only getting 21 heal. Uh, not even. It rounds down. I'm only getting 18. Damn. Hmm. Well, since we have this, should I just do bias anyways? Since we have the uh, buffer, let the lightning, let lightning go off. Do I care about having some frosts? I need damage. Or I can just try to go for full block. The buy is pushing me on the clock now. I bet it just wins the game though. This is like a little too much maybe. That's a nice stack. Go full lightning. We'll play it safe. You can't heal from the things. I guess we could dig now. Uh, I guess we could dig now. Hey, that's a good dig. Hey. Should be playing chill first. Whoopsies. So strike time is terrible because I have uh, only one strike in the deck, but what can I do about it? What can I do? Way to plus sure. Here I want to keep the, the Electro up, right? Or do I want to go for the Frost? What's... Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to do Chill and then Electro? Electro then Chill.
we get free heals, it's fine. Kinda wanna consume. I don't wanna take this much hit to the face. Let me see something. You're dark on loop, that's perfect. Dual cast for the win. Freya wheel. Man, sometimes... I don't know. The tail end of these relics... I can't complain, I can't complain, but like... Uh, it's okay. Capacitor plus... Pretty good, to be honest. But the Awakened one's already kind of eh. The Awakened one's kind of eh already, and I already have one Capacitor, and then Creative Eye gives me the other ones, right? Like... I think I'm happy with the capacitor that I have and creative by doing everything else. I'd rather not blow. But capacitor is so good because I have frozen core. Lightning on loop. I'll never do that. I need damage. There's my damage. I need more damage. Twenty-one, twenty-nine. Let's see what I can get. More damage. Is working capacitor. What do you mean, capacitor? Well, that's game over. No, not consume. Consume gets rid of orb slots. Multicast is pretty good. Blizzard? Hmm. Diablo 2 uh, ladder reset 10 days ago. Hey, have fun, dude. I didn't know people still play like Diablo 2 ladder. That's crazy. Multicast or Blizzard? I don't think I need the Blizzard. I mean, Frozen Core Blizzard. I can't upgrade it in time. I have to recall. Uh, we have Lecture Dynamics for AoE. How are we doing against the Don Deca? I guess we're depending on creative AI. This deck, this deck depends on creative AI a lot, actually. Multicast is okay, because if Multicast gets rid of Frost, I get Frozen Core. Also does our Dark Orb. Blizzard seems a little slow. Eh, probably gonna pass. Uh, Multicast or skip. Yo, Slidey Toke, thanks for the follow, buddy. I used to play D2 Hardcore when I was like 13, I believe. I had this guy. I was playing StarCraft Boot War. And we were always on Battle.net. And he's like, yo. Uh, come do this Hardcore uh, Diablo with me. And I was like, not ready for it. So I went to go grab an apple during this Hardcore. You know, we're all grouped up. We had to pay attention. Young little me was hungry. I, got, I went to grab an apple. Come back. I'm permanently dead. Well, that's pretty good, yeah? Sure. Alright. No more, though. An upgrade. What's up, Abu? More card draw?
One apple a day makes you permanently dead. That was the moral of the story. Smoke bomb. Barrage is pretty good, but okay, we got a recall. I didn't get to do much digging, so like, if you look at the rare relics that I received, Pocket Watch is sometimes do doing something, some most time probably not, right? And then Shovel is really not doing much. So these are a little unfortunate, but we'll, we'll persevere. All right, for this dude, Electro is not as important, but what's important I think is creative eye scaling. But what I want to do is not take as much damage and I think I'm a fan of defrag loop right away consume chill boot sequence call it a day and from there we'll, we'll, we'll do everything else yeah we could also weaken him so instead of doing loop we could do capacitor plus we have a lot of options Freco, thank you do this some of your flesh wounds get us out of the deck all right no safe cards safe cards pocket watch Let's start playing around pocket watch We're about to enter up uh, end turn mode. All right, we're about to enter end turn mode. I can pocket watch again. Have I enjoyed the fourth character? I want to explore more. Man, remember if I got that calipers, guys, how free this run would be? Pepper's Farm remembers. Hmm. There's creative AI. Yeah, I didn't dig for it. You're right. Too much creative AI, though, right? At some point, it's too much. I can still get calibrated for the heart. This is true. Never too much, says the wise man. Never too much, says the wise man. What's up, Thurnamon? Yeah, I will press E. I want to get Dark Orb first. But I'm, I'm going to make my deck full of powers. There's a Dark Orb. Now we press E. Echo form. Echo form is worth it. Right, now we press E. And dogs are chilling with in the other room. Okay, double double buffer. Now we press E. I mean, I, I, want, I just want to play these. Now we press E. I keep saying I'm gonna press E, but then I see things that I want to play, like like now we press E. I will press E after this, alright, you know, just gotta... I will press E, oh, that's a lot of equal forms, my lord. I will press E after that. Yeah, calibers would be free. So Storm is pretty good, right, because Storm starts getting the Dark Orb forward. It's hard not to play these cards. Like, I'm not gonna need the buffer, but what I do wanna start doing is bringing that Dark Orb all the way up.
Did I? I didn't play Storm, did I? Damn. Alright, so how does one go about seeing a dual cast we win? Won't think that works, yeah? Man, I really just want calibers. Alright, we want Electro for this fight, get that going. And now for this fight, this is weird because. Creative Ice Killing is very strong for this as well. And I didn't get Wicked One. Oh, thank God. Look, here I am not even telling you about the Wicked One. Yeah, we dodged the bullet there. Creative Ice is very good for this fight as well. C Capacitor is really good. What if I use Pocket Watch, guys, and get Electro after this? I won't get Pocket Watch here, all right? And I kind of want to get Double Blinds. But then after this, we'll be fine. I want to go for Pocket Watch, right? So multi guys is just good. Give me pocket watch value and I get a free orb back anyways. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. What's up? Amir Ferris? Second bus. Mm, I should go. I should go a little faster, though, right? How does one go faster here? Should I, should I be playing more zaps? Should I be playing more zaps? Hey, pocket watch. Ah, they're scaling though. Big boys are scaling. Can we outscale the monster here? Forgot that I have storm. I should be careful. Should I put the lightning on loop? Probably not, right? I did pass barrage. I should have kept. A barrage. I should have put a barrage in the deck. For fights like this, it's really slow. Hmm. The worst of it's over.
Okay. The heart, I need... I need something else. I mean, remember some card in gold here. Okay, remember that. The heart's not solved yet. Alright, to upgrade or to dig? If I get calipers, we're just winning the lottery. One, two, calipers, let me go. Not the worst. Alright, anchor's pretty good. Anchor and then remove. Power, I can't buy potions, okay. Pretty shitty shop. Anchor remove. What if we take strange spoon so we can get chill again? No. Core surge? No. Seek? Eh. It's probably just anchor remove. And we get rid of that last strike, which makes this completely useless. Oh well. Before I do anything, let me see. Yeah, anchor move is the play. Compile is pretty good, but nah. Alright, let's go. Uh, do, do creative fire right away. We can still get calipers. We still believe. Alright. Do I just do capacitor chill? Is creative eye too slow for this fight? We definitely want to get like a lecture defrag out right away, right? Like, I don't know. Capacitor is really good for this fight as well because of the uh, frozen core. So I'm kind of leaning towards like capacitor defrag. Uh, the creative is just awkward energy cost. That's the problem. Because next turn, how much we're taking? I could do creative now, sure, but next turn, we're taking like 60 damage. And I could probably do something to mitigate that. Like, creative right now is... If I do capacitor defrag and then chill, I can take a lot less damage. But we do have pantograph, so I could take a hit as well. I could get pocket watch for turn two. All right, so we got one card. All right, if you want to get pocket watch, I can't get pocket watch here. It's pocket watch more important. I can do creative eye defrag pass, but I'd rather do chill. Is chill worth when I could just get pocket watch instead? Yeah, I'm thinking capacitor is worth it. And then if we do that, then we can't do uh, Great AI. One sec. Yeah, defrag um, creative at chill works, but then I, I, I get one card over pocket watch, so then I don't get the three cards off of the burns. Because seek is a card. So I won't be able to get the chill. It'll be one card over. Hmm. Hmm. Is it is it a significant electro right away though? Because Electro is kind of far down in my deck, and I just want to get the damage going. Con con consume Capacitor is not bad either. It's more effective block. I just have too many good cards. I just got to draw into them all. I like this. Now the question is, do I go for Pocket Watch and get rid of two Frosts? I 
You get two frost anyways. So we get to do loop. We take a hit here, that's totally fine. I think we do loop. We can do consume again. Do consume again, then that's, that's the end of my turn. But it's probably better to do things like chill, cool-headed stack. Consume number two is strong, but I mean, I guess I'm taking damage. I, I do have pentagraphs, not the end of the world. I'm thinking maybe I just do cool headed stack though. The pentagraph will take care of the rest. That's the best I could ask for, to be honest. Okay. I think we just do, we do blind Electro Rainbow here and take the hit. If we do reboot, if we hit reboot and get, go for the eyes, we can try to mitigate some damage like that. Or we just take the hit here, not the end of the world. So we get pocket watch. Taking 14 damage more. Um, get pocket watch though. I and mean, what are the odds I'm gonna get go for the eyes? I guess I can get boot sequence as well. Alright. That's all the damage we're taking for the fight, yeah? We're done with damage. down with the damage. I really should get rid of these lightning those, damn. Are we ever doing consume again? Oh. I want to turn my back to this guy, so what do I do? I guess there's another blind. Alright, one sec. Frozen core here. If I do consume, I get 16 block plus 3. So consume makes me only, but I have 2 burns. So consume is pretty good if it wasn't for the two burns. I could always do stack as well. So we're taking 25 damage, right? Stack prevents all damage. Focus, damn you. This is dangerous. I might have to do Essence of Dark. Hmm. How nice would it be if I can draw into blind after the fact. Hmm. 
I just don't like how much damage I'm taking. It's not the end of the world. Take six damage. Is it better to do darkness now? Take no damage? Or do we need this essence of dark for the heart? Six damage versus essence of dark now. Probably just take six damage to the face. The problem is I think the heart's gonna be really rough. Six damage to the face. They're both the same life. Kind of want to skim first. Dual cast just wins. Hmm. I feel like I have to do that. The alternative is to do, do the reboot right now. Should I reboot before or after this? I mean, if I don't, if I do reboot now, I have more energy to work with. If I do this, I take less damage when my back is turned, or not turned, and then dual cast is potentially lethal. Let's reboot right away. Because multicast is lethal. I don't really have a lot of things to turn my back towards him, so I think this is probably worth it. Get pocket watch here. Pocket watch look for multicasts. Is it worth it? Pocket watch multicasts. Or eh. Facing that bad. Okay. So, what's really important is getting loop frost, right? The yeah, next potion I should have used earlier, honestly. Cause I'm doing mostly orb stuff. Okay. Loop, Frost, Defrag. There's a lot of things we need to play. We're probably playing... Creative Eye first, because Buffer would just mitigate the most damage if we get... Um, buffer for the big hit. But we need Focus. And Loop is very good. So that I can play cards. So I really want to do loop defrag, but it's probably a, a mistake not to do double cap in the pot. That's not useful because having all that dark doesn't do anything. I need to mitigate damage first. Like, 
the dark is not gonna kill him fast enough. But yeah, we want we want loop for the second play cards. We want defrag. Created by gives us potentially buffer for the big hit, which is really huge. So that's what one of the reasons why I'll play it. But loop defrag is good for everything else. So I can compromise and put like loop creative AI. That'd be my compromise. I could also weaken him, right? If I weaken him, then his attack's not as much. Like, holy shit, we have so many things we want to play. We could also weaken him. The weaken mitigates a lot of damage. Jeez. The question is, do we let Pocket Watch do its thing or we try to reboot for weekend? Nah, let's just Pocket Watch this. We could do Pocket Watch again. This is 12 block for one. It's the same thing. I need defrag. Well, the guess is the best card here. Did we just multicast guys and we just scale up after the fight? I think I, I want to pick a pass here. For one, energy stack is doing more than multicasts. We hope that we get biased here. I could get pocket watch, but I need to hope that I get biased. Oh, it's a weaken. What if I weaken him right now? I think we should weaken him right now. More capacitor is pretty good. I think we hope to get biased here. We got echo form. We also got consume. Echo form is too good not to play. Hmm. Let me see. Forty-five damage. If I echo form, I have. 25 block plus 10. Got 35 block. Add another 5 to the mix. Got 40 block, but I'm losing. I'm losing 4 of that, so we have 36 block, but we're healing 2. Effectively 38 block. And then we should be fine for this. the second. The next part is fine. I wish I can weaken him. Get rid of the artifacts. So that I can maintain weakened throughout the fight. 
Nah, potion's not worth it because I need my frost, frost loop. Although this, at what point am I doing essence of darkness? That's, I should get the damage, right? Why play Kuhari first? Doesn't mean anything. Drawing a defense. Um. <laughs> I do need to do damage though, so Essence of Darkness is consideration. I wonder if I do that next turn. He would miss it. Is it worth doing this? Get rid of the artifacts so you can blind easier. I think so. Is this a good time to access the darkness? Then the next turn we need to draw into buffer. We don't have that. All right. Okay, we need to doing damage. Essence of Darkness is nuts. Should I really Essence of Darkness here? But then, what, what am I doing with no Frost? How am I going to rebuild Frost? I have to go through all this shit. I literally have to go through not, uh, 10 orbs. Yeah, but I need Frost on loop. I don't see how it's... Okay, we do need damage, right? So what if we just, like, try to scale up if our focus would consume and then do electrodynamic stuff? It's going to be very hard to recover the Frost. I could, I could try to just... Scale up my focus and like zap stuff. Now I already played capacitor twice. I can't really retain my. I can't really get my frost back that quickly. I don't have glacier. All I have is cool headed and shit. Yeah, not to mention when the frost is not on loop, I'm taking damage to every card I play. I already used my capacitor echo form. I don't think I'm rebuilding frost in time. It is a shit ton of damage. I can rebuild two frosts. I need to rebuild seven more after that. Most importantly, I need frost on loop. Uh, I think... I think we try to let Echo Form help us scale up and survive a couple more turns. And maybe let, let Lightning do damage. This just seems too premature, guys. Without Frost, 18 life, no Frost on loop.
I could do pocket watch. I could pocket watch here, but maybe pocket watch is not worth it at this point. It's gonna be very hard. Yeah, I don't know. I do need damage. I gotta guarantee my scaling, otherwise, yeah, I'm just a losing battle for me. I don't want to take 7 damage though. I don't want to take 7 damage. Machine learning... Is machine learning worth taking 5 or 7 damage here? No, I can't do- I can't- Bugwatch is no longer reporting here. No longer reporting. I think we just mitigate all damage altogether. Taking seven if we play this though. To start. Another start. I think we get a dark orb out. I think we get a dark orb out. Let's go for the eyes coming up. Or we just maintain frost. Probably not gonna use pot. I'll probably use pot in a turn where I'm gonna die or something. Potion's just awkward because I want to have frost on loop, but I could always use it if I'm gonna die or something. Let me get a dark orb out. I could try to go for more lightning, but this is. I think this is fine. This suffices. I could also dual casts. I wish I had calipers. Focus on damage now. I can try to rotate the orbs here. It might be useful later on. The buffer is great. So he's doing 90 damage. If I play this twice and then this, I have full block. So how much is this? 16 times Consumes. More consumes is trying to get worse because I'm getting rid of my frost. But that that makes essence of darkness really powerful. And if I do consume, then that makes essence of darkness even better because I have less orbs to get my frost back. I think consume twice and then blind is enough for this turn. Because the big hit, I have buffer. Okay, the, the, the important hit is the multi hit. I'm, I'm okay for the big hit. It's multi hit's the problem. I 
Mm, I, I like this better actually. Consumer's actually not helping me that much. It's taking away my overall block. I lose I lose an orb for 13, but I gain nine block with the frost that I have. But it, it makes the subsequent orbs better. No, I think I think consumer's not good here. I think we do electrodynamics, cool headed. Electrodynamics, cool headed and zap for damage. So electrodynamics, go ahead and zap. Okay, so 90. We're already okay here. I could get rid of dark now, because lightning's trying to... I can, I can end the fight with... This, once I survive this run, I win the fight. Matter of fact, I could do Dark Potion now. Because I have two buffers. And I'm going for lethal. Perfect block. That's fucking sexy. What's the play? Try to save the buffer? I mean, what's the play here? Save the buffer? I think we do storm. So that we can start getting rid of the dark easily. And that's just GG. Ah, uh, the burn makes it awkward. We can use a buffer and let the dark scale, sure. But I still have like four turns away from lethal. Like, I don't mind losing a buffer, but I... Th I think Storm's gonna help me get all the damage out. Like, you really want to do damage now. Multicast does all the damage for this turn. And then I need lethal next turn, which should be possible. Right? It's very possible to get lethal next turn. I can also just do cool headed. Nah, he only, he only take 200 damage. I, I think I just do cool headed. And just multicast. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of buffer. Right. I should be able to do that as much damage next turn. Oh, what a fight. Okay, that's sorry, the heart was a little hard, guys. A little hard, but we, we pulled through. Woo! All right, two heart wins today. Let's go for the D. Let's go for the Watcher now. God, I spent like the hour of the run was literally on the hard fight. I felt like a Papega there. The potion from Act 1 beat the heart 
when it was all said and done. Look, guys, if I did that potion when you guys told me to, I would have had no frost on loop, no defense. I wouldn't have been able to scale. It worked out in the end.